Hi, I'm Elaine Harding. Welcome to my blog at stampwithelaine.com. Yay, the new May 23 to April 24 annual catalogue went live yesterday. So now I can legitimately show you the inside of the catalogue. Today I'm going to be looking at the Fresh as a Daisy Sweet Collection again because in particular I wanted to show you this sheet of designer series paper. These are the Fresh as a Daisy designer series paper. There are five double sided designs and on this sheet in particular which is the one we're using today we're going to cut this up to make this card. The collection comprises a stamp set and the dies. It's only a tiny picture of it down here. Um, if you purchase it together as a bundle it will save you 10%. And then the other things in the suite are just these adhesive back solid gems and then the designer series paper which is a 12 by 12 inch pack or 30.5 by 30.5 centimeter designer series paper. So this is one of the sheets in the paper pack. You can make several cards out of this one sheet. This is really quick and simple. I've simply used designer series paper to make up this card. So I'm making it with a square card. The stamp set I'm using is Cheerful Daisies and it's coordinating die set called Cheerful Daisies Dies. So we're going to be using this die to cut the label and the leaf stamp and this stamp here. The cardstock I need for the card base is Bubble Pink which is 5 inches by 10 inches and scored at 5 so that's 13 by 26 centimeters and scored at 13 centimeters. For the front mat layer for the card to put this on is four and a quarter by four and a quarter and in metric that's 11 by 11. Then for the inside of the card I've got a square that is four inches by four inches and um, this is three and three quarter inches by three and then three quarter inches. So in metric this will be 10 by 10 centimeters and this is 9.5 by 9.5 centimeters. You also need a scrap of Moody Mauve to stamp your sentiment. Other materials I'll need is first marking, garden green and this is the new core color bubble bath. And this is the embossing additions toolkit and we need some basic stamp emboss powders. They come in a pack of three in black, clear and white. So we're going to be using the white one. And some Moody Mauve textured ribbon 2023 to 2025 in colour dots. So you put it on your trimmer and a line is at four inches. If you want to cut that off, then you'll see the natural progression. You want to cut this piece off next. So then you can get at these two pieces because that's a straight line there and this will be gone so you don't have to worry. Then once you've cut that you can cut it this way to make the two pieces and this way to make this piece and then turn it on its side and cut these two. But this is a really easy card to make. I'm just going to cut that So I'm going to glue this onto the mat layer first so I don't mislay it. And then I'll glue this to my card base. Leaving an even border all round. So I'm going to glue that 
onto the square. And then I'm going to glue this to the inside of my card. I know I'm doing stuff back to front. This is the inside of the card. I'll need a cushion. So let's pop that on. And I did have to stamp off. So this is a way round it. If you've mounted something and you want to stamp off the page, just use a post-it note and marry that up. Put it to the edge of the cardstock. Okay. Ink it up in bubble bath pink. It's just bubble bath. And I'm going to stamp it here. Then I'm going to stamp the leaves and I'm going to stamp off first. And then you just remove your post-it note and you know you can stamp off the page without actually marking the rest of your cardstock. So now I'll just add the 2023 to 2025 in colour dots. Now we want to do the label, so I'm going to use the embossing buddy over the cardstock to prevent static. Ink up the sentiment with book Versamark ink. Oh no. I'm going to have to wash my stamps because they just won't stick to the block anymore and one way of refreshing them is to give them a little bath you just use a tiny bit of washing up liquid or detergent I'm going to have to do it on the other side because the stamp fell on the cardstock and stamp that Pour it back into the pot. Now I'll pop this into my cutting sandwich and die cut it off camera. So to find out how much ribbon you need, put this against the ribbon and then say back there. So double it over. Cut that off. Then you want to run some tape along here. I'll pop some glue dots underneath here to keep the ribbon down. And then just pop the label on top. One last finishing touch. So voila, there's the completed card. Before I go, do you want to see how I made some of these other cards? I used this piece and this piece to make this card. For this piece, I made this using a different sentiment and I white embossed on boho blue cardstock so that it would mirror the daisies in the painting. I picked out the colour from in the background here called copper clay and embossed it with the 3D basics embossing folders in the online exclusive range. For this one I used Afternoon Azure coloured cardstock and I think this is Lemon Lolly and I used the Playing in the Rain bundle. I, I coloured and die cut the tortoise 
and then use the stylish shaped dies to cut out the tag. For this one, um, I haven't put a sentiment on it because I wanted it to be a generic card. Um, but again, I white embossed that on the wild wheat cardstock and clear embossed the flower centre in early espresso. To be honest, when I did put it against the wild wheat coloured cardstock, it looked pukey. <laughs> Sorry. But it didn't sit well with me, so I decided to go for the early espresso card base instead. That wild wheat, it's fine in small doses, but not as a card base, I don't think. But that's my opinion. I didn't know what to do with this green, and um, that looked quite pretty. I could have used it in playing with the rain. But then I thought, no, I could use it to tie in with the leaves and the stem in garden green to mirror that colour. And this is from the new 6x6 six six inch designer series pack for 2023 to 2025 in colours. So that's how I made the card with these little bits. So back to today's card. I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. It's a really quick and simple card and um, designer series paper does the work for you and makes your life easier. I'll be back with more inspiration next time. Thanks for joining me today and if you'd like to read more then hop over to my blog. The link is below this video in the show more section and you can also find me on Facebook, Pinterest or Instagram. Thanks for watching. Bye.